could be doing things in a different and a better way. Same thing could be done like if you did 10 years down the line, done before. Used to be food items, now you can order them online. So the same things are in a different way. Technology has changed so, the delivery mechanism. We are doing a different way. Home delivery and other things. Okay. You need to know where you need to get it. So how come all good ideas don't turn out to be good businesses? Is there any uh, reason for that? People, they think they have a great idea. Does that mean that that's a great opportunity? No. So what makes a great idea a great opportunity? Implementation of the idea. The timing of the idea, sometimes the market is not ready for such a <coughs> powerful idea. That could be one reason. If the market is not ready, it was never an opportunity. How can a person start without the market being ready? That means there was no proper study done. Mm -hmm. Right? Customer validation. Customer validation, correct. It would be wrongly uh, communicated and wrongly implemented. What they are trying to do, you are not being able to communicate it clearly to the audience or the target customer. And if you are not being implemented, it is properly. Okay. So the question I come to is, there is a gentleman of London Business School, he is a professor of entrepreneurship called Dr. John Mullins. Has anyone heard of this name? Dr. John Mullins? Just heard. Just heard. Yeah. He has written this book called The New Business Road Test. Has anyone read this? Well, I happen to be a student, so I follow a lot of his teachings. Uh, and he is a great mind in entrepreneurship. He has done a lot of research on why ideas pay. Okay? What are those domains through which you should take an idea before starting it? So he has identified a total of seven domains which we will be talking about. This is a statement he's he's made. He says most business plans should never should have been abandoned before they were written. Okay. Somehow we have the habit, especially here in the academies, we get a great idea, we feel it's a great idea, and we straight away start writing a business plan. Is that how you do it? You just think, okay, fine, I'll write a business plan on how to start a restaurant. And the next thing you do is write an executive summary and you're off to the business plan. Or is there any other step you take in between? How do you guys do that? <coughs> Can anyone share with me? I mean, how do you write a business plan? I mean, actually, writing a business plan is, is itself a big investment. So what we do of time and effort. So what we do is like try to make it work in a smaller, you know, environment so that we we'll see in a in a controlled environment if this kind of idea works. And if it does work, then it, then only then you start thinking of whether to convert it into even a business plan. So, mm -hmm. so probably there's a kind of uh, a prototype testing in a controlled environment. How do you do that? Uh, it depends. I mean, uh, if you're if you're looking at a restaurant business, you just want to you know uh, try out samples of what you're doing. You know, try to see if the customers are okay with it, and then uh, the other processes uh, just see how it works in the real environment, and then slowly build it up, and then decide if it's even worth to you know convert it into a business plan. Great. So what all aspects do you see of this? Yeah. Um, the question was, are all good ideas good opportunities? Yeah. So we are saying that some facts I am giving you, often good ideas fail or are replaced by better ideas led by market response. It is the market that determines the success as you were saying. A fact is that most businesses fail in less than two years of starting up. In fact, more than 90% fail. There is only 10% success rate. What do you think is the reason for that? Uh, I think there is lack of persistence from the side of business. I mean, initially, a few failures should not be a major setback. Uh, I mean, if the long-term goals are in place and you know that you are like, heading in the right way, the first two, three years of failure should should not be a stumbling block. They should just first like, two, three years. Uh, the should just be, you know, they should kind of uh, guide you. You should learn from your mistakes and start going beyond the two years and see how it works out. Is there any way to avoid these mistakes at all before you start? I think you need to, you need to learn by and do So, going with the building on this and I think you are sure that this is going to work in the test from the test perspective. Another fact. Fewer than 1% of the business plans submitted to VCs get funding. 
very bad figure, one less than one percent. Why do you think is that? What